How's it going, guys? Okay, so it's Saturday, uh, October 4th. Oh, okay, so Doug here, the guy who owns this truck, I've never had to deal with a guy like this before. Uh, <clears throat> so he come here on a Tuesday, looked at his truck, he asked when he can bring it, and I said, well, bring it on the weekend. And he said, well, he's going camping. Then he called me Wednesday. He said, well, can I bring the truck to you tomorrow, which would have been Thursday. I said, yeah, no problem. <clears throat> so I was talking to uh, Doug Thursday evening. And he was assuming I'd have his truck done by now. Uh, tried to explain to him, you know, like there was a truck that I painted finished painting to our uh, Sunday Monday I had to put it together I had the clean garage and then I got your truck in and, he, and he's like oh no you must have me mistaken for somebody else I said 93 Dodge so uh, he's a little upset I got his truck in here Tuesday uh, Wednesday you know that was a big dent back there it took a bit to get it out Wednesday night, when I before I left, I put another tight look of body fill on it and got it, and that's the way she's staying right now. So Thursday, that was Thursday, I finished blocking that out, did my tape line and all that, went around feathered all these uh, little rust spots out, which I got to hit them again. Um, this here, actually Steve was just here and we just uh, pulled that out. I put a, a bolt on there, the nut, grabbed the 2x4, grabbed this fair lane jack, and uh, hooked up to the bolt. Steve held the um, two by four here. We just gave it a little pull, and that's out now. So that's proper. We just got this little dent right here, and then a long dent down there. So anyway, so my understanding to um, the day he first brought the truck out was to fix the major dents, which I am right now. I got one done. So in two days. You know what I mean? I got that, all this. I stripped the bottom down because there's so many rust uh, spots all in one spot. It was just better for me to strip it down. When I started stripping down, I realized, okay, I need to take these moldings off, wheel arches, wheel moldings. Took them off. There's a couple, no holes or nothing, but you know what I mean? I treated that snot there. Got that one off. There's one more. Well, she asked me if I take those off, and I said, "Well, if need be." <clears throat> so, um, so I told him where I was on the truck. I said, "You know, I got the one big dent." I said, "There's a dent by the passenger mirror." He said he didn't see it, and um, I said, "I just caught it," and um, and he was, he couldn't figure out why I was stripping from the molding down. <clears throat> so, so it's so. He's got me a little confused because I'm doing what he's asking me to do, which is remove the rust, fix the dents. If I miss a couple, it's not an issue, and uh, and paint it. Okay, so I brought it in Tuesday. Wednesday's when I actually got things going on it. So in two days, I had all this done. And uh, Friday, I went to Iron Bridge for the whole day. So I'm in here Saturday. And um, like I said, Steve dropped by, and while he was here, I put a bolt on, like I said, grabbed that bar there. He held the 2 by 4 and we pulled it out. I put the mirror back on. It's good. So he's a little upset that the vehicle's not painted yet. But meanwhile, you know what I mean? I told him, he asked, when can I bring it? Bring it on the weekend. And then he brings it on Thursday, and then he thought he'd be in right away, and I guess he forgot I had a truck in here, and uh, you know what I mean. So, kind of a hard guy to deal with this guy here now. So he's not concerned, you know what I mean. This side here is just a little bit of, you know, this stuff here. He's not concerned about that stuff. Well, you know what? If I don't paint that, if I don't like feather that shit out, it's gonna come back. This right here, right? That's rust under there. That's bubbled paint. Means rust. Deep scratches. I'm not worried about the scratches. 
It's to the metal. It's to the metal. I can't. I refuse to let it go like that. So when he comes back and says, well, you know, the rust is coming back and da, 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 and this and that, and this, you know, and then I, I'll have to be like, well, you know, this is what you asked me for. This is what you got. So let me do it my way, you know. Apologize that I didn't have your truck in on the weekend, which I told you that I had. You know what I mean? I guess I should have said to him, well, you know, your truck's going to sit for a bit because I'm not done until, you know, Monday or Tuesday and then I'll have your truck in. So I didn't. So. <clears throat> My nanny told me he has two holes. He's got a hole under here and he's got a hole on his rocker. And um, underneath his rocker. And uh, when that hole opened up, water come pouring out of it. Plus there's a patch here that was all bubbled up. All this was all bubbled. Like, look at it. Guaranteed, I'm not taking this off, but guaranteed, whoever put this patch on, didn't put nothing inside that. Spot welded it, and um, didn't, um, you know what I mean, make sure it was no openings and that. So I'm not taking the rest of this body fill off, I'm just right here and that's it. <coughs> So yeah, so there you guys go. He's a little upset that his truck's not done. He's a little upset that I'm going beyond what he thought I was gonna do. You know what I mean? I didn't give it in detail. I said, what do you want? I said, okay, well, this is how I'm gonna do it. Or this is what I'm doing. I, I pointed all these little spots out to him that day. I said, all those gotta be feathered out. He says, okay. And He's upset. What can I do? You know what I mean? I'm not gonna sit here and bring one truck in when the other truck's just ready to get painted. Cause he brought it Tuesday. Friday, Saturday, I worked my butt off. Sunday, I painted it. Monday, I put the black truck together. Tuesday, I came in here, cleaned up, put my tools away and pulled the truck in. So. I got two days, two full days on it, and um, today's day three, and I'll have the siding primer today. I'll have everything that's supposed to be done on this side done, <clears throat> and that's so. And then I'll go to the other side, and I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to strip the paint from the molding down, which takes a long time to do, because it's not going to come back to me and say, you know, hey, you didn't do it right. And that's so. So yeah, and I'm gonna feather out all these little guys if there's not a whole bunch of them together. Like there's a big pile right here. All this right here is gonna be feathered down. To, well, actually more than that. All this is gonna be primer, all this area. Cause we got that, we got all these little ones here, there, there. <clears throat> this is why I took the molding off the other side. These are all rust bubbles. So it has to come off. There's no choice. So, I'm gonna get on it. I'm gonna get this done, get it out of here, and then I'm gonna start building my door. I'm gonna build my door first, and um, put me some headers up. After that's done, and then I'll take the old door down, and um, put the new door up and uh, move on and find something else to do. So guys, I'll be back and uh, one pack rat. Um, if there's any way that maybe you can private message me or somehow that your new uh, channel and that, and I, I feel your pain on that uh, about this, you know, family thing because it's, 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 it's happened to me, you know, I mentioned someone's name, they call the cops on me. And I have to take the video down and on and on. And it's just bull crap. But, okay guys, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Ciao.